<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Hot Cup of TV. Today we have some amazing Jurassic World Evolution news here all about Isla Nubar and the brand new sandbox mode which I am so excited about. I mean like I can barely contain myself. But basically guys look at all these beautiful footage by the way all of Isla Nubar. And it's different colours, different times of day. Why? Because you will get full control over the time of day, what time of day it is. Um, so all of this information has just been revealed today. So I'm bringing the news straight to you guys um, so that you can all uh, just basically enjoy the living hell out of it because it's amazing. So yes, uh, that's one of the things you can control whatever time of day it is uh, on this island. So you unlock this island uh, when you get four stars on Isla Matanceros, which is going to be the first island. Uh, and then you can control what, what time of day it is. And there's three times of day, dusk, night, and day. So that's gonna be the three main times of day in the game, it looks like, guys. And um, it's a huge island, as you can see, it's absolutely massive. <sighs> it looks absolutely beautiful. And you will be able to control exactly what type of weather uh, is on your island, how severe it is, and like how many, how much, how much damage it causes. You will also be able to control uh, whether the dinosaurs can escape from your island, uh, whether they get sick, uh, and how often they get sick, and all of those kind of details. Um, anything that can go wrong on your island, basically, including power outages, uh, how often they occur, uh, and you will get full control over that. So you can kind of set yourself a bit of a challenge by the looks of it, or you could actually play free with barely anything that goes wrong and just build to your heart's content. However, as originally thought in the previous videos, guys, that we have done updates uh, for this information, which is available on my channel, like we said, that is, we will not be able to put anything on the island until we have unlocked it. That includes dinosaurs and everything, uh, research that we unlock. So when uh, it comes to the things we want on this island, we still have to play through the five islands and battle through the challenges. The challenges of nighttime, the challenges of daytime, the challenges of when there is a triceratops that gets very angry and starved and it smashes out of the cage head first and then just absolutely proceeds to rampage through a huge crowd of your guests, which were currently already scared because there was a T-Rex on the loose. So um, this is kind of what we have to think about and what we look forward to when it comes to our parts in Jurassic World Evolution, the challenges, and when we get to unlock this mode, and this will be sandbox mode, and this sandbox mode uh, will have unlimited money in, and it will all take place on the sixth island of the game, Isla Nubar, which is the island where the first Jurassic Park film and Jurassic World, of course, took place. So this is absolutely mind-blowingly good. Um, and look how goddamn beautiful and gorgeous the scenery of these uh, videos are. It is actually amazing. You can actually see a rampaging Stegosaurus as well um, that goes through. It might be a Kentrosaurus um, next to the Innovation Center, right at the bottom on the left-hand side of it. I think it's this scene right here. Look, right at the bottom in the little gap, you can see uh, there is a rampaging stega Stegosaurus that goes past. <laughs> uh, right there. Can you see it? Right there. Uh, it goes through. Rewind that clip, guys, and look at the bottom next to the Innovation Center. Um, one of the paths on the left-hand side, a Stegosaurus goes rampaging through. So it is clearly broken loose <laughs> and uh, gone on a rampage in the park, which is ridiculous. So oh, it just makes me so pumped to play this game. Also, how cool are the monorail tracks? And if you look at these clips closely, you can see so many different things. You can see a lot of dinosaurs in the clips, and you can also see... I couldn't help but notice there were individual trees and this has been a massive question asked for ages can you place down individual decorations in your park we know that you can terraform and have uh, land land tools that we can terraform but if you look closely here at the bottom the k where all the dinosaurs are there's loads of individual trees placed down in that in that um in that enclosure does that mean we can place rocks and trees and individual logs and items and things like that maybe not the other things but maybe at least trees that would be really cool so um it looks like that might be possible that would be awesome imagine the attention to detail we could go into in terms of decoration as well as that it looks like there's a very large variety of trees or at least uh, quite a decent little variety of trees 
there's not just one or two types um, as you can see there's tropical pine tree looking ones big tall kind of regular bushy trees and all different types if there is anything in the clips that you guys can see anything exciting and anything that we haven't pointed out so far let us all know guys in the comment section below if you can spot anything amazing because there is so much to see in these clips there's all the buildings all of the amazing stuff that on the left there that looks like a maybe a new viewing platform or a new viewing uh place but i don't know whether that is it might be the old one i don't know there's two hotels over there this looks like what looks like there might even be free hotels on this island. <laughs> wow. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all of the juicy news, the amazing news for this beautiful, beautiful game, Jurassic World Evolution. And I hope you cannot wait to play this game as much as I can and mess around with all of the amazing dinosaurs and unlock all of the incredible dinosaurs. I'm going to be spending hours and hours on this game and I'm not going to regret one minute of it. <laughs> but I have a feeling that my park guests might regret visiting at some point. <laughs> so guys, I hope you have absolutely enjoyed this once again but the thing is is we have now seen five islands we have one left and that is Isla Sauna to go we have seen Isla Matanceras, Isla Tucano, Isla Murta, Isla Nubar which is this one and Isla Pena which is the nighttime one we have Isla Sauna left to go so we'll probably find out news about that I think I feel like later on this week guys so tune into the channel if you want to see that as soon as it comes out as always straight away you will get the news right here on Hot Cup of TV because uh, I bring it to you guys so that you can enjoy all of the beautiful Jurassic Evolution dinosaur mayhem that is this completely incredible game I hope you have all enjoyed thank you all for tuning in and thank you so much for all the amazing comments feedback and love for this channel like I said I love hearing your guys's uh, opinions and thoughts on this game it is absolutely incredible and uh yeah basically guys i'm just so hyped for this game we will see you guys in the next jurassic world evolution video right here on hot cup of tv